shush. Please? No more vodka for you. Get over. Cutting you off. I'm out of the picture. And for good reason. It's martini in the morning.com. So, we, uh, Mother Miriam, since she uh, came to us from the home, um, Mother Miriam has been telling us that, that back in her day, in the home. Still that, my day. And they love my you. Day. It's and, not over. And they love you in the home, don't they? Uh, Mother Mary's been telling us what a terrific singer she is. In fact, she offered, uh, she's offered on many occasions to get up on, uh, to get up on stage and, uh, and, and to sing. And um, uh, she, so we thought this would be the opportunity. Today is the appropriate day. Kind of a gift to uh, Al the engineer on, on Al's birthday, even though he refused to show up because he didn't want to be any part of this. That's true. In case it goes according to what we think it's so. Uh, be before before we before we do this, I wanted to introduce you to Armin. Armin, if you come to Lucy's or if you've seen on the guest camp, often you'll see uh, Armin uh, comes to Lucy's and, and hangs out with us. Um, and Armin, you you've always wanted to sing, but you you've always been around music, right? Yes. Yeah, here we go. Pluck into the microphone. There you go. Um, you've always been around music, right? I have. And I have to turn your microphone. Uh, you've told me stories before. You and how did you and Chet Baker come to be friends? When he lived in Glendale, I lived in La Crescenta, but we both went to Glendale High School. Now he went there one year and dropped out. Gotcha. And he joined the army. But in that time, so you knew you knew Chet Baker in high school. Yes. Okay. And uh, he was born in '29. I was born in '31. So wait a minute, Armin. That makes you're. You have a birthday coming up, don't you? In three months. Three months? Yeah. You'll be 80. Yeah. I will. <laughs> Congratulations on that. All right, so um, so you so you and Chet Baker went to high school together. Right. And became friends. So what, when he when he came back from the, from the Army, were you still in touch? Yes, for a short time, and then he went to Europe. And I kind of lost track of him at that time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I always feel bad when I hear Chet sing that, that, that beautiful horn in his voice. Yeah. And, uh, oh, brother. Was he troubled back then, even in high school? Was yes. he troubled? Yeah. Was he using drugs and stuff? Yes. Oh, even back then. Oh, yeah. You know, what a tragic life to be so talented and then, uh, you know, to see it all, you know. And he, he died in the 68? No, 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 or later than that. He died in the 90s, didn't he? Kitty. Eighty-one or eighty-three. Yeah, I knew it was later than most people think, uh, and, and and I only knew that recently because uh, there's a song by Dinah Krall that we play that was written by Chet Baker. Uh, no, I take that back. It was written by Elvis Costello, her husband, but Chet recorded it, and I was surprised because I thought that you know that he had died much earlier than than, than he did. So uh, again, Armin, you've been around you've been around music for a long time, and I know that because you saw, showed me some of your records and so on. Now is your you've always wanted to sing. Mother Miriam needs a duet partner. Lord knows we're not going to let her around here by herself. And uh, so you're here to help her, right? I certainly am. All right, Mother Miriam, Thank what's, you, your, what's your story? I don't have one. I'd make one up really quick. You, you usually do. Hey, Paul, you're going to have to, Paul Mahler okay. is, uh, you can see, if you're watching Martini Vision, you can see his back. Uh, Paul is uh, shooting some video that we'll load up on the website. But you know what, Paul, I've got bad news for you. You're going to have to shoot it from over here by Lenny. Because you're blocking the martini vision no. camera, the live camera. No. So step step over around here. All right. I, I, see, I, I, I'm learning from our friend Teddy Ray, who, who was a floor director for many TV shows over the years. All right, we're setting this all up. Can you can you get them both now? Uh, can you might you have to stand me? up. Yeah, I don't think so. You have to see me. This is my baby. I know. So, is the Marianne? camera is? Yes, dear. How much did you drink? <laughs> I haven't had anything to drink. My children are watching. I haven't had anything but coffee. Greg and Stephanie, we're going to be calling. Okay. We're going to be calling the van from the home to take her back soon. Okay. All right, all right. It's martiniinthemorning.com. Paul, do you have a good shot of them? Yes, I do. Okay, so we, Paul's got a good shot of them. So I'm going to set up the uh, tracks here. Let's see if I can do this without messing it track up too much. Track one. Well, track one. Pause it. All right. So are you two ready for this? Oh, absolutely. So Mother Miriam, and you're going to cue Armin on the approach. See, Bl Blaine sets this whole thing up, and then he leaves. <laughs> He's scared. Chicken. All right, ready? Okay, I'm ready. This. 
Ladies and gentlemen, what have I gotten myself into? The things you do for friends, and you know the old saying, no good deed goes unpunished. Well, here's the punishment. You ready? We're ready. All right.